why is there such a massive amount of depreciation when you purchase a property? Like, why is there that big? Someone invests a hundred grand and they get a twenty-five to forty thousand dollar write-off. Why is that? So the IRS tax code allows you to depreciate a building over time, right? Residential, yeah. I believe, is what thirty. 27 and a half years or something like 27 and then commercials like 39, right? A $10 million building, right? Can depreciate over 39 years. In 2017, the jobs act allowed you mm -hmm. to accelerate some depreciation. You basically do this cost segregation study, which is basically an expensive engineering report where they come out and they say the carpets are not going to last 39 years. They last mm -hmm. seven. These AC condensers are not going to last 39 years. They'll last nine, right? And they basically break down every fixture in the entire building. And then they allow you to accelerate everything that is in like a 15 year category a yeah. hundred percent in year one mm -hmm. right i mean i've seen guys do deals where you get a hundred percent almost a dollar for dollar write off wow. because they had so much that was getting depreciated in that building that's a step down by the way so over the next five years that will diminish still is the best deal in town right it's still the yeah. best like <laughs> you still don't get to watch this full episode or other interviews just like this, head on over to youtube.com slash chriswilliams, R-E-I, and follow along.